Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, okay, I'm going to start out with the World Series. Very, very big game tonight. Um, you got RV versus Falcors on the mound tonight. This is a huge game for the Mets. Obviously, they lose and they and are done. I do think that it's over tonight, though. Uh, as much as I would like to see the Mets uh, win the night and stay alive so we can have a longer series, uh, I don't think it's going to happen tonight. I just uh, think Kansas City comes out on top, wins tonight in a close game. The Mets have just made too many mistakes. Uh, last night, again, just like game one, I thought they had that game last night, but just made too many mistakes. Clipper comes in and he struggled, and, and then uh, Familia gives up the two runs to Kansas City, go ahead 5-3. And then Daniel Murphy, he made a huge error that cost him the game, too. So, I just made too many mistakes. And Kansas City is a team you cannot make mistakes against. You can't. They'll kill you. You know, you make mistakes against Kansas City, they're going to capitalize on them. You better believe it. So, can't make mistakes against them. Harvey needs to uh, pitch a good game tonight, but the Mets bats need to come alive tonight. They need to. It's do or die. This is what it's about, baby. You know, win or go home, you know. Mets won't have to do much packing if they lose because they're already in New York, but, huh, you know, you live for these moments, you know. Hopefully they, they do good with their backs against the wall, you know. Either, both of these teams deserve it, though, you know. So be happy with whoever wins it, you know. i just like to see the Mets win tonight so we could have a longer series. But I think the Royals come out on top tonight and uh, win a World Series. But the Mets will be, will be back. They have a lot of talent, you know, very, very good pitching, and young pitching, too. You know, it'll be interesting to see who they hold on, if they hold on to uh, Cespedes and what they do with some other guys, but and if they pick up some other bats in the off season, But I like Kansas City to win tonight. I say it's uh, four to two. Kansas City wins, and uh, that's my prediction. So we'll look forward to next year, but we'll see what happens. All right, as for football today, um, wow, wish I could have seen the Giants and Saints game today. I was uh, checking up on it a little bit at times today when I was working and uh fifty two to forty nine Saints win. Drew Brees throws for seven touchdowns over five hundred yards. Eli threw for almost four hundred. He had a great day. No defense in this game whatsoever. Um but talk about exciting. If you like offense this was your game. But you know, Giants, sometimes they struggle against teams who throw a football a lot in their defense. But, you know, Saints defense didn't play good either. You know, I haven't seen the Giants play like that on offense in a while. Wow, I didn't see that coming. You know, and the Saints, they've been down this year on offense too. So, you know, wow. The Giants, they they had the they had the ball late, but they had uh, three. I think it was three plays for five yards in like 31 seconds, and they had to punt the ball. And the Saints had had the ball in good field position late, 
and kicked a field goal to win the game. So, huh, that happens, you know. But, you know, when you have the ball late in the game and there's not much time left on the clock, you you gotta you can't leave any time for Drew Brees or any quarterback who can throw a football well. So I don't know. He should have been a little bit more aggressive I guess, but you win some, you lose some. As the Jets lost today to Oakland, Oakland's a tough team. Uh, Jets had uh, injury problems all day. Ryan Fitzpatrick hurt his hand early in the game. Geno Smith came in. You know, he didn't do bad, but, you know, you can tell he was rusty because towards the end of the game, he, you know, just didn't make good decisions. But Raiders were tough, you know. It's a tough loss today. For the Jets, but uh, Rob, uh, the Steelers though come out today and against the Bengals and uh, lose 16 to 10. Le'Veon Bell had, I guess, had a gruesome knee injury. We'll see how long he's out for. Uh, that was Roethlisberger's first game back. Uh, Seahawks beat the. Uh, Cowboys in the closing seconds, 13 to 12. Tonight's game, Green Bay and Denver should be a dandy. Uh, I think the uh, I like the Broncos to win this game tonight. Give the uh, Packers their first loss of the season, but it's going to be a good game. See if uh, Denver's defense can get in uh, Rodgers' face. It's uh, it's tough because he throws the ball so quick. Um, but as for my predictions this past weekend for college and pro, I went six and two, got both of my picks in college right. I picked uh, Notre Dame and Florida to win. I actually said Notre Dame would win by a field goal, and they did. Uh, Florida won twenty-seven to three. I uh, had the Rams in Arizona win. I lost on uh, Atlanta and Pittsburgh, so not bad, you know. Two and zero in college and two and two in pro. So hopefully I, I uh, can keep it going and get my picks right next week. And uh, yep. That's that's about it for today. I'll uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll see what happens tonight in the World Series. We'll see if I'm right in Kansas City wins, and uh, see if I'm right about uh, Denver beating Green Bay. All right, guys, have a good night. Take care. Bye.